नमस्कार वेलकम टू माय प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन लाइफ स्टॉक मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम बाय टाटा कंसल्टेंसी सर्विस डिजिटल फूड इनिशिएटिव्स इंडिया इज नंबर वन प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ मिल्क इन द वर्ल्ड इट कंट्रीब्यूट्स टू ट्वेंटी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ ग्लोबल मिल्क प्रोडक्शन बट देर आर सर्टन प्रॉब्लम्स इन दिस सेक्टर एवरेज मिल्क इल्ड पर एनिमल पर डे इज लोअर इन इंडिया कंपेयर टू यूएस विच इज थर्टी के जी पर डे इन यू के इट इज ट्वेंटी टू के जी पर डे इन अप्रिल ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू होलसेल प्राइस इंडेक्स फॉर मिल्क घी एंड बटर एज रीजन बिकॉज ऑफ इंक्रीज इन द फॉर्डर प्राइस इंडेक्स अल्टीमेटली द रिटेल कंज्यूमर पेड अ प्राइस ऑफ मिल्क एट फिफ्टी फोर रुपीज पर लीटर इंडिया एनुअल मिल्क प्रोडक्शन वॉज एस्टिमेटेड टू ग्रो एट जीरो पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री स्लोएस्ट इन द लास्ट फिफ्टीन ईयर्स क्लाइमेट चेंज इज ऑल्सो 5% percent increase in average temperature results in heat stress and decrease in the milk production at 11 percent in summer of 2022 the decline went up to 15 percent consumer have to face price escalation post covid jump of prices was up to 18 percent a large cooperative like uh, gc mmf uh, amul saw a decline of 1 percent in the production and there was a shortage of amul butter and ghee india had to import uh, milk and milk powder to meet the demand uh, internally 20% of fodder cost also increased the wheat production in punjab dropped so there was a 20% rise in the fodder prices and 15% rise in the milk prices there is also fodder shortage in the country of 23.4% for dry fodder uh, the drying of irrigation facilities are responsible for making it harder to grow the fodder for the uh, animals india's demographic challenge is also big Uh, one third of the country is young le- less than 14 years of age which are consuming milk in higher quantities as a source of protein india's retail sector is also pushing up the sale of dairy products 15 to 20% on an annual growth disease is like the lumpy skin disease killed more than 184000 animals in india in 2022 23 national level economic loss was uh, more than 18000 crore rupees what does our innovation do our innovation is bringing together the herd managers farmers veterinarians uh, artificial insemination and uh, embryo transfer providers dairy cooperatives etc on one platform they can use these services and the modules in this platform for uh, the cattle registration cattle identification uh, in the breed management they can go for e- the entire cycle of embryo transfer uh, pd calfing the calf certificate uh, 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 artificial insemination semen order management etc the cattle care they can get the advisory the weather based alerts vaccination calendar disease warning uh, etc in variable scent tracking the rfid based animal tracking feed and fodder management forward and backward tracking adverse data event, uh, data uh, management adverse event data management etc in feed management the weather based uh, feed advisory is there breed nutrition management alerts uh, fodder based ration balancing etc image analytics uh, you know processing on the edge i can give the uh, first hand diagnosis of the disease the health parameter monitoring uh, etc what new insight does our platform offer in the breed genesis we are trying for gen ai for breed risk profile uh, progeny traceability in animal health behavior we are looking at bcs based ration scale cognitive animal de- demeanor health cycle detection symptomatic appraisal etc climate smart feed remote sensing can be used for feedlot crop cycle management procurement planning and also regenerative agriculture practices can be monitored in ghg emission uh, and looking at the environment footprint we are looking at the research measuring reporting and validating uh, the ghg emission and the global warming potential forecast as well the digital audit and risk control self assessment can be done grower score matrix is there for rewarding the good agriculture practices and good life, livestock practices we are developing the chat bot services uh, for the you know, gen ai messages for collaboration bot services for uh, anomalies and at herd and regional level two way communication uh, f- for with the general ai uh, chat bot etc how does this improve or uh, innovate on the previous ways of doing things formally there was no early diagnosis random antibiotics were used no ethno veterinary remedies were used there was lack of advice at the right time uh, cattle con- was considered part of the family in india but their needs are different the visit to the cattle happen if there is a peer pressure or some government uh, local uh, campaign is done also the pros and cons of artificial insemination embryo transfer is not known by the farmer so no health records were kept no decision was taken uh, no training was received uh you know however after our platform uh, these things have improved farmer is getting the right information at the right time and he is getting empowered all the other stakeholders are also getting empowered and we believe that we can help india grow bring in the milk revolution 3.2.0 thank you